An unbelievable story tonight. Some rigs in Detroit's new ambulance fleet are in desperate need of life support. Last year, the city's EMS division was in shambles. Response times were slow and people were dying. That's right, and those new ambulances were supposed to change all of that, but some of them have some serious problems. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl has been leading the way on this story. Now, Ronnie joins us live from the newsroom. Okay, Ronnie, what have you uncovered? Well, they are supposed to be top of the line, some of the best ambulances money can buy. I first told you about some of the repair issues this past September. Since then, I was able to get my hands on the maintenance records, which shows the scope of this problem is shocking, and it is pretty disappointing. The city of Detroit given an extremely generous gift from the business community. 23 ambulance rigs custom built the Cadillac of ambulances with a luxury price tag, $161,000 each. Don Austin, then the fire commissioner, promised they would be maintained. We're going to make sure we take care of this donation because it's for the cities, it's been entrusted to us, and we're going to make sure we do everything we have to to make sure that this, this donation lasts. But today, just seven months later, Action News has discovered many of the ambulances are breaking down at an alarming rate. And at one point in the past couple weeks, we had 11 trucks down, 11 trucks. So. 11 of the 23 new ones. Mm -hmm. Joe Barney is the president of the EMS union. This is not a problem that's going to go away. And the scope of the problem is shocking. Maintenance records obtained by Action News reveal a grim picture of the new fleet. There's Medic 16 in less than five months. It's been in the shop 14 times. Or take Medic 5. It's been on blocks for transmission problems, a leaking airbag, bad headlights, and no power. Check on Medic 3. Its troubles range from a broken door latch to a suspension problem that causes the entire rig to lean. The other problems are a list of auto repair Horrors, a steering wheel that's off center, horns that don't work, complaints of exhaust fumes in the cabin, electrical issues, and ambulances that just won't start. If you take a look at the 40 years EMS has been here, 40 plus, our vehicles are pretty much disposable vehicles. We've never been able to maintain our trucks. Maintenance was a concern in the original deal for the ambulances. Documents show there was a plan for the vehicles to be leased and maintained by a nonprofit corporation. But since they were ultimately bought outright, Union rules mandated city workers handle maintenance. We're going to make sure we do everything we have to to make sure that this, uh, this donation lasts. While Don Austin is long gone, the man who must fulfill his pledge is Jonathan Jackson, the new fire commissioner. We have to do a better job maintaining our fleet. Jackson says since these ambulances are so advanced, there's been a steep learning curve in the shop. We've made some significant changes in our uh, repair facility and management. There's more structure, um, there's better reporting, better tracking of the fleet. At the same time, Jackson says the department is running the ambulances hard because there still aren't enough on the road. These Cadillacs have never seen Detroit streets or they've never been uh, use the way that, that we use equipment here. The city is reaching out for help. It's partnering with Tri-County International Trucks to assist with repairs. And Jackson is thankful to the men and women of Detroit EMS for their commitment amid a very trying situation. I know that ambulances and equipment are getting a lot of attention, but our folks in EMS, they are just tremendous people. And, and you know, the things that they go through day after day after day and still come to work, still volunteer for overtime is exceptional. They are some tremendous people. And so Jackson also tells me the department is in the process of purchasing 15 additional ambulances. They won't be the Cadillac style of the recently donated ones, but simply put more rigs on the street will allow for the fleet to be rotated so there simply just isn't so much wear and tear. We are live from the newsroom tonight. Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News.